Motu AVB interfaces do a great deal more than provide high-quality audio input and output to a computer. These devices have sophisticated internal mixers with built-in effects. As a matter of fact, you don't even need a computer if all you want to do is mixing work. The AVB mixer can be controlled from any device that can run a web browser. That's because the Motu AVB control app is web-based. It's even possible to run multiple control devices for the same mixer, and that provides powerful options for mix control. The interface can be connected to a network, and as long as the device running the browser and the Motu AVB control app has access to that network, you will have full remote control over the mix. In this movie, we'll take a look at the standalone mixer preset. Right now, I'm running the Motu AVB control app on an iPad. I have a network set up that includes a wireless router. The 1248 interface is connected to the router with a Cat5 cable. The iPad sees the 1248 through the network. In the device page, I'll open the preset browser and choose Standalone Mixer. Remember that you can also call up presets from the front panel of the interface. Notice that for this preset, there are no configured connections for the computer. All of the physical inputs and outputs of the 1248 are enabled, with the exception of the optical outputs. Of course, you can customize this at any time to show only the inputs and outputs you need for your specific mixing job. If you have an 8M or 16A model interface, you'll see different inputs and outputs according to what's available on that model. Check the online tech notes or downloadable manuals for further details. I'll switch over to the routing grid, and the first thing we see is that all of the inputs of the 1248 are assigned to the internal AVB mixer. Output routing has been set up, so the main outs of the AVB mixer are assigned to the first phone's jack and the main out jacks on the rear of the interface. Main mix outputs are also assigned to the SPDIF outputs. The monitor outputs of the AVB mixer are assigned to the second phone's jack and the monitor outs on the rear panel. AUX outputs from the mixer are assigned to eight rear panel analog outputs. So what the routing grid shows us are the possibilities to mix any combination of the interface inputs to the outputs of the interface. As always, you have complete control if you'd like to customize the routing setup. For example, if you want the two front panel headphone jacks to receive signal from two stereo aux sends in the AVB mixer, it's as easy as clicking and dragging in the grid to reassign. Notice that on the left of the routing grid, the actual outputs are labeled to show their input sources. This makes it simple to identify or change signal flow as needed. Initially, the aux sends are set up as stereo pairs. Aux sends can be unlinked to become mono sends by clicking on the aux send in the mixing window. In the mixer page, we can hide or show inputs and outputs to simplify the view. We can hide or show effect sections as needed. There is a separate page for aux mixes. One very powerful aspect of this feature is that the AVB mixer can be addressed from multiple control points at the same time. For example, each musician on stage could have their own iPad or similar device, and each of those musicians could view just the aux mix that applies to their own monitors. This button labeled View Personal Mix opens the mixer into a new page in the browser and provides only the mix information for the specified aux send. Again, you don't even need a computer for mix control. Any device that can run a web browser will host the Motu AVB control app, so whether you're mixing front of house, monitors, or even have multiple mix control points, the Motu AVB interface mixer provides the flexibility and control that you need.